Good morning. Should we fight for truth or walk away? Our text today is Jeremiah 12, verses 5 and 6. If you have run with the footmen and they have wearied you, then how can you contend with horses? And if in the land of peace in which you trusted they wearied you, then how will you do in the swelling of the Jordan? For even your brothers, the house of your father, even they have dealt treacherously with you. Yes, they have called a multitude after you. Do not believe them, even though they speak smooth words to you. As God's servant, Jeremiah faces persecution. He is saddened by the reaction of his countrymen. He felt certain there would be a larger, you know, faithful, positive response to his messages, but he hasn't seen very much evidence of that. Mostly, he sees the people following the path of least resistance, just kind of going along where their spiritual and civic leaders are, are walking. Same old, same old. Sometimes he almost grows weary. He, he begins to question, you know, I'm spending a lot of energy on this, it, with the results seems so small. Sometimes he wonders if he's meeting the Lord's will. The results so far, they seem so small. And surely there's much more vigorous warfare ahead for Jeremiah. If Jeremiah is wearied now, how could he possibly hope to contend with the larger and fiercer battles that are just ahead? And, of course, what about us? If we're ready to faint now, what are we going to do with the larger spiritual battles that are just ahead for us? When things become even more intense, what are we going to do? Now, of course, we see here, they sought out Jeremiah, they talked with him, they, they visited with him, they pled with him. They, they spoke, they, they actually lied, they gave him smooth words, they, they gave him diplomatic words, they gave him a lot of encouragement to just tone it down a ways. They were really trying to just bring him, get him to bring it down. And it seemed to Jeremiah like he was a man almost alone. How could he be right and almost everybody else is wrong? You know what? The devil often will use our humility as a weapon against us. We begin to doubt ourselves. Am I just the one that's stirring up the trouble? Why is everybody else just kind of gliding along? Now, as we come toward the finish, we expect the spiritual battles to intensify. But the devils want us to kind of tone it all down. And so these are some of the dilemmas we face. As we come downstream here toward the finish of Earth's history, we need to purpose in our hearts to walk ever more closely with Jesus. Surely, the final movements we see in Bible prophecy will be rapid ones. Heroes are few and and Seems like less and less of them. But heroes we will indeed be if we will walk more closely with Jesus. He needs us now. He wants us to be useful for his mission. If we learn to walk in his strength, we'll be successful in carrying out his purposes. And we can take courage. I mean, you know, we're, we've gone many miles with Jeremiah already, but there's so many more to come. This is a rather lengthy book, and there are some very intense times ahead, even harder for Jeremiah. But he's going to be successful if he leans on the Lord, and you and I will be successful in the miles that are just before us, walking with Jesus. If we will just hold on tight, remember the Lord is coming. He hasn't forgotten his purpose. He wants to use us to finish this thing. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to learn how to run with the footmen so we can contend with the, the horses as well. Lord, we're sure there are times coming for us that will be much more difficult spiritually. We'll feel even more alone, even more isolated, even more uh, accused of slandered, uh, said to be troublemakers. But Lord, help us to hold on tight. Help us to, to always keep in the hands of Jesus, Lord, and you show us the way. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Should we fight for truth or walk away? Well, yes, we should contend for the faith once delivered to the saints. Fight for the present truth. Fight for Jesus. He'll be with us. God be with you today out there in the battlefield.